All right, looks like we're getting set up. Racers readying up in chat. Or in Discord, I guess. All right, countdown's on. Your challenge match between Ochre and Abu. 10 seconds from beginning. Here we go. Purple chest is a ring of piercing on one on one. Not bad. Doesn't do anything for you on zone one, but it's nice to have that ring slot filled already. There's a cracked wall here at the bottom near the exit. Bomb into that. So transmutes could go for a different ring. I think you go for shovel though. Abu's gonna do that, just get titanium shovel. Ochre's gonna wait to see. Yeah, they're gonna get shovel as well. I don't know why you'd wait to see that. Just grab it and go. <laughs> Bloodshop has titanium broadsword and squega suit. Abu's just gonna buy it. Ochre's gonna go for the roll and does get it. So we'll see a blood drum on top of all that. As well as full health. Abu's sitting at half heart after the blood price. Hooker doing some shopping on two one or on one two as well. Gonna get a uh, torch. Looks like Abu is gonna get a leprechaun on one three. And find a lock shop here, which holds boots of pain, which we can't pick up. Well, we could buy. Yeah, okay, we bought the. Uh, Two purple hearts so we could buy the boots of pain. Ochre finding that same shop and they get the hearts. And looks like Abu's gonna get rid of that ring of piercing and opt to go for the shrine of uh, shadows there and also switch into a gold rapier. So getting that mapping, that Diagro, feels pretty good. Boots of pain on top of it all. It's a little weird how uh, Boots of Pain work with a rapier, but there's a gold kill there on Death Metal for Abu. And then gets a Ring of War. That's really good. <laughs> All right. Um, if Ochre's paying attention there, looks like they're going to miss it, though. And is Abu going to switch to Ring of Re I doubt we switched to Ring of Regen here. Maybe just wanted the cheese. Yeah. Getting a bit of a heal. From that Shriner on 2-1. Stack of bombs for Ochre on 2-1. Looks like they both found him. And there's another cheese for Abu. So back to full health whenever they want to heal here. I don't think the Boots of Pain are even working for Abu. Like, he gets the two damage for the lunge the three damage for the lunge and then the war pushes it back and then there's too far away for pain i don't i mean that time it worked because the dragon was against the wall i've recently forgotten how pain works <laughs> apparently but uh abu on the two three finds an immediate trap door both racers found a potion on two two and we're gonna see fortissimo your zone two boss Ochre finding some heavy plates at the 2 3 shop. Not gonna bomb for it though. I suppose we have Swagger Plate. Swagger Suit, so it's fine. Plus, victory for Abu finds a bomb spell in the purple chest. And trapdoor down to 3 2. And they got mapping, so we'll be able to find the exits. Although, uh,. Pretty simple exits here. Yeah, Ochre not having any problems finding them either. 
And Ochre can use Abu as a map themselves if they're paying attention. Another trapdoor for Abu. Down to zone three into deep blues. Yeah, it looks like Ochre's doing a bit of screen watching here, so knows they have to go up there. Oh, Abu didn't get the, the gold kill on deep blues. It's taking a few hits there. But down to zone four. Ochre's gonna adjust for it and get uh trying to set up for a gold kill here but isn't gonna get it and now wasting time as abu moves forward uh oh there's some queens ochre and then, yeah there's a good blast home but abu done with 4-1 and the reward was not worth the effort for ochre purple chest holding a pulse tome or pulse scroll even Oh, a gun! <laughs> there is a Shrine Mimic on 4-1. Electric Dagger on 4-3 for Abu. That'll pair nicely with the uh, Boots of Pain now. And getting two Pixie Kisses before the exit on the Coral Rift. Welcome to Earth. We're into zone five. Abu gonna cut through and find a trap door. Not bad. On the five two. <laughs> Just gonna bomb out of that uh, mosh pit. That's a good call. Has enough bombs. Heck fighting that, that dragon. We got exits to go to. Boots of Pain cleaning up that metronome and into 5-3 just as Ogre is even getting into the uh, Coral Rift fight. And Abu into Dead Ringer. Done with zone 5 before Ogre could even get to it. Uh, we have, yeah, Earth for a quick kill. Flawless into the boss fight. This should be a fast uh, Necker Dancer as well with the Blast Elm. Ochre trying to push through here, getting caught up by a lot of enemies. And there goes the electric dagger. Two hits on the Necrodancer, a three. There you have it, Abba gonna take the first loot. A pretty commanding time of 7.05 in game, 7.15 race time. GG. It looks like we're gonna get right into the next one here. Racers readying up. point where it's dark enough outside that it might be storming and there's thunder or neighbors are just popping off fireworks <laughs> all right here we go i can feel my house shaking i can't hear anything because the headphones but blood dagger on one one And a bomb pickup for Abu. Both racers gonna find that. And into one, two. No cracked walls found. Hooker gonna risk a bomb on a crate there. Gonna get magic carrot. Abu found a dove charm. Stowed it away in their pocket and we'll take it to the exit. Abu getting a luck charm here at the 1-2 exit. Ochre having... It looks like they're trying to wrangle this 
last minotaur to open yeah the blood shop so i'm gonna save the bomb here and not really rewarded for the efforts infernal torch helm and then uh gold warhammer gonna grab it all though who knows blood drum could maybe get it i'm almost getting caught in a swarm there but smart use of a bomb to clear out that one three exit and into your zone one boss it's deep blues i'm gonna set up for a bomb kill here what's in this black chest Oh, Titanium Rapier, and Abu misses that on 1-3. They're checking Black Chest, and it's a Glass Whip! So, Ochre with the build advantage, even though they're a bit behind here. Much faster Deep Blues, and they can check Purple Chest. Heal Spell. So, I imagine <laughs> Abu's trying to speed through this zone, too, try to find something better here. There's Miner's Cap. Uh, gonna grab that and a titanium spear. There's an arena on 2-2 two, two that Ochre found a pulse spell in. Abu finds it just a few beats later. And looks like Ochre's gonna get the miner's cap as well. Abu down a trapdoor to 2-3. Ogre taking that same uh, route. Not a great shop here. And Ogre's going to be down into the zone two boss first. It's Fortissimo. Uh, taps the stage there, so it doesn't get the flawless victory. But maybe just wanting to go here. And Abu's gonna check some chests here. Gets a freeze spell, which Ochre's gonna miss out on now. And went the wrong way in zone three, so Abu's already gonna make up the time loss here. But once again, Ochre has a pretty strong build. Miner's cap, rapier with ring of war now. Taking a few clap of hits down to half a heart though. Scary in the three, two. Setting off their own fireworks with the uh, Infernal Torch and Miner's Cat. And we're both on the same mini boss. Headed down into 3-3. Three, three. Abu finally using that Dove Charm. Putting it into the right slot. Ooh, Ochre in a bit of a swarm here. Handling it. Well done. And Abu's going to take the lead here though. Using the free spell. Clear out that exit into Kanga, your zone three boss. Ochre finding a glass shop at the exit there too, so getting some health or uh, some armor and a shovel, and then uh, getting some health back with that heal spell on the stairs and what have you. Abu gets the flawless victory. Checking purple finds transmute. Gonna leave it behind, and Ochre just gonna go. We're into four one at the same time. Magic cheese in a barrel. That's some pickled cheese. Give us some extra hearts. And we're into the 4 1 exit for Abu, taking a few Blade Master hits. Has the freeze spell up, not using it though. It's backing off there, and Ochre is going to push through to 4 2. About two rooms ahead of Abu now. Ooh, Ochre minding the monkey there is going to take a bomb blast instead, breaking their shovel and uh, losing half their health. Also off the miner's cap now. Heal buffered on that armadillo. Nice. And Abu doing some shopping on 4-2, getting quartz armor and some cookies for some safety. And there's a vault on 4-3 with slime everywhere. And Ochre has to blood dig through the tier 2 wall. Feels bad. Abu taking a different route. There's so much goo on this level. In both routes. And Abu finds a glass staff, switches to it. And is gonna take Coral Rift first. 
There's like goo in every sub room here. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> ah, but with that free spell already done. Gonna check the black chest, find titanium whip, so glassin. Glassin in the zone five. Using that dove charm, miner's cap combo. Get through most of these enemies. Oker down to the zone five. Good pulse there for Abu at the exit in the 5 2. Look at that dove. <laughs> Cleaning up all those enemies for Abu. Made it to the exit. Free spell. No problems here. In the 5 3. Ochre halfway through 5 2. Abu just needs to not get hit here. Has opportunities to blood freeze if they need to, which they should do right now. Okay, good. <laughs> and get into that dead ringer fight. Oker just getting down to 5-3. It's a left side spawn. Could have did staff strats. <laughs> but we're going to do, uh, looks like, Japanese strats. There's a rider there. Staff will take care of that. Well done. Boss victory. Oker into the dead ringer fight. Has the blood drum to make it go a bit quicker. Yeah, I see him charging forward there, just using the blood drum. I don't know if that was quicker. It was definitely more dangerous. <laughs> but Abu into the zone, uh, phase two of the Necrodancer fight. One hit in already. Three hits. Four hits by the time Ochre gets into phase two. Ochre also at half a heart. And there's the last lure for Abu. Gonna get this one. What a seesaw race that was. 819 race time. GG. Good stuff. That glass staff at the end was a bit scary. But Abu able to handle it. And like Ochre had the build there too. So like, and had it early. Abu's just fast, huh? I mean, they were they were uh, seesawing positions throughout that entire run, zone three and zone four. Ochre just uh, had to manage some health shenanigans there, I think. All right, here's the final seed of the match. Both racers ready and starting the countdown. Awkward silence at the end here. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Purple chest has a pulse spell on 1-1. One, one. Nice. That allows for very quick boss kills, mini boss kills. Kill the shopkeeper with it. Find a circlet of telepathy and a barrel with it. It just gives you kind of a bit of a mapping sense. But it also will spawn uh, all those bad, fair and balanced enemies. Speaking of kills, there's Abu getting a pulse kill on the blood shop. And going to pick up gold harp and a battle shovel. Abu, very familiar with the harp weapon, currently holds the uh, non seeded world record for cadence. Evolved a blood harp. Also boots of lunging, but we don't know what those are in this in this tournament <laughs> or in this season. Potion grab for Abu on one three, and a gold broadsword in the chest. Ochre finding a torch on the one two shop. Now also see that potion. 
and Abu in the conga, your zone one boss. Okay, we're gonna farm up a uh, leprechaun here before moving on though. Blood drum for Abu and then finishing the uh, conga with a pulse. Checking black chest here for obsidian cat. There's your weapon. And you can see the circlet there showing us where the exit is. And now it's Abu's turn to get that lucky charm. And taking a trapdoor down to 2-2. Two, two. Ogre gonna get it, that obsidian cat as well. Abu opening that barrel trying to find some type of healing. I'm gonna protect that potion as much as we can. Oker taking the trap door down on to 4-2, and uh, this is quite a long on um, 2-2. This is a pretty long one as well. Good battle shovel for Abu there, taking out the dirt golem in one hit. And then finding the exit right away. Sitting at four bombs. Ooh, taking a hit there, there's the potion. Gone for Abu. Very busy exit room there, tried to just sneak through. Fortissimo is your zone two boss. Oker using their battle shovel to take out the Minotaur and handle that exit room a lot better. Keeping their potion alive. Purple Chest has uh, Earth Tomes in it. Abu's going to switch off with the Blood Drum for him. And Oker checked Red Chest, found a holster. Trapdoor for Abu down into... Th Three, two, Ochre found the exit and a cracked wall. A lot of enemies here though, it's a Shriner. Gonna bomb it all, get the ring of regen and probably that uh, glass armor. Meanwhile, Abu has moved on through to three, three, found a trap door and into your zone three boss. Deep blue uh, death metal even. Did set up an earth kill here. Uh, looks like they tried to. There it is, battle shovel earth kill. Ooh, Ochre dying to an ice beetle. Just sliding into it and then like missing a beat. So it looks like Abu can shift to slow play procedures. Let's check that death for Ochre. Yeah, mistiming that beetle and then just getting dunked. Okay, uh, Abu back to full health. Ooh, takes a bomb there though, down to one heart. So this is why you keep running. That's ouchy. Gonna get some shin guards there for a bit of armor. All right, we got a heart and a crate here. Gotta get to it first. Looks like shouldn't have a problem. And moving on through zone four. Opening two rooms at once is not the greatest ideas. But handling it, good pulse gets the ghoulum and the Sarkroft guy. The shop at the exit here. We'd like to see that. Ochre back into the conga fight. Crown of Thorns, map. Crown of Thorns, real good. I'll get our health regen up. Into 4 3. Ochre gets the flawless victory on conga. Back on that obsidian cat. Abu checking uh, the 4-3 shop. There's heavy glass in there we can buy. Now looking a lot safer. And a glass shop. Probably don't want anything in there. And on the core rift, your zone 4 boss. Ooh, Ochre popping a potion there. Very narrow hallway in 2-2. Two, two. Trying to do a salty run back here. 
Made it to Fortissimal. Abu's was done with Coral Riff. Got the flawless victory. Checking purple for a ring of piercing. That's helpful in zone uh, five. Don't have to worry about them uh, orcs and their shields. Takes down deviled eggs in one hit. Good stuff. Poker in this uh, dragon arena again. Getting the ring of regen glass armor. Nice battle shovel there for Abu. Taking out that Minotaur in one hit. In the 5 3. Pretty simple exit here. And we'll see a dead ringer fight. Uh, no real quick kill here. It's a right side spawn though, so easy. Left side. Scoop, 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 scoop. It Looks like Abu's gonna get the sweep here onto the Necker Dancer fight. As the shield tomes for the shield spell bug. Have a little longer shield during this uh, phase two. See if he can get it done before the shield runs out. Uh, missing that lure there, but recovering just fine. One more hit for Abu and there's that shield gone. There you're gonna have it, Abu taking this match three to zero over Oker. 8.33 race time, GG.